Well, some breaking news happened today at ICAST. Major League Fishing announced the schedule for the Bass Pro Tour for 2025, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. I'm going to keep saying it. Thank you for all the new subscribers and the comments and in the views and everything that you guys have done over the last few months. It has been absolutely overwhelming. I say that. I'm not joking. It's not a joke. This is as humble as I can be. I really appreciate all the people who are just loving the content. It keeps me motivated and it keeps me wanting to do more. So I really do appreciate it. So keep it up and thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and I really do appreciate it. So today, Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour announced their 2025 season. Next year, there'll be $150,000 to the winner, which will be the highest payout in all of pro fishing. They are gonna have seven stages. They'll have the Red Crest Championship and also their heavy hitters at a new spot. And in 2025, the Bass Pro Tour is gonna to go to three new spots that they haven't been to before. If you don't know, the full field of 65 anglers will compete for the first two days, then they'll go to a knockout round and then a knockout round to the finals. But all four days, will be live streamed on their platforms and website. But where are they going? Well, stage one is on Lake Conroe, January 30th through February 2nd. Now this isn't gonna be popular amongst some people and I apologize. This is amazing for me. Now it's amazing for me because I want to go fish Conroe and OHIV and that those places. It's on my bucket list. So for me, this is a fantastic start to the 2025 season only because I think it'll be pre-spawn fishing and I think you're going to see a lot of big bass. I don't know if you'll see the number of fish that we've seen in some of the tournaments in 2024, but I think we'll see a lot of quality fish. But if the weather's bad, it could really be a crazy, crazy tournament. So stage one on Conroe is a plus for me. Stage two, they come to right behind me, the Harris Chain, in February 13th through 16th. Now this one is going to be probably right on the spawn or maybe just slightly after the spawn. It's gonna be a time when the fishing's gonna be really good. Now there's a lot of quality fish in that two to three pound. Lake Apopka is gonna come into play big time. And again, depending on our weather, it's either gonna be a great fishing tournament or it's going to be terrible. And when I say terrible, if we get any cold fronts going into that week, the bite will shut down. And the later the, the weather is bad, our bad weather is like 60 degrees, 55, 60 degrees, will depend on when that spawn is. Generally, our spawn is right in the end of January, February. So they're kind of hitting it right on the nose. And this could be a, another fantastic tournament. This is two for two for bangers for 2025. Stage three is on Lake Murray and they're going there March 6th through 9th. This will probably be a pre-spawn fishing. This is where the leets were in May and when Patrick Walters almost had 100 pounds. This is a great place to go fish. This should be another ridiculously good place to go fish early on in the beginning of the year. I feel like this is going to be another absolutely killer banger of a tournament for major league fishing and i can't wait for this one either and really lake mary should be fun to see if people are going to use forward facing sonar to fish deep or if they're going to beat the banks and look for those big fish that'll probably be up there looking to spawn so look for lake mary to be another great fishing tournament in april they have their red crest which will be on lake gunnersville Lake Gunnerville, another one. Great fishery, probably overfished a little bit, but a great fishery. This will probably be right around, I think, the spawn, maybe a little after, but this should be another good tournament for them. This will be a huge one. The guys that are at Red Crest should really appreciate that they're going to Gunnersville in the beginning of April and probably will have another great tournament. Stage four is Lake Chickamauga. At this point in time, you tell me the first four tournaments in Red Crest, and I'm already going, who, who, who came up with this schedule? This is another absolutely killer, killer one. I think this is going to be a big fishing turn, big fish tournament. I think they'll catch quality fish. I think they'll catch lots of fish. And I like that as of right now, they've been to January, February, March, April, and they have this in May 
first through the fourth, that they've had one tournament every month, not back-to-back -back tournaments. I like that they give the anglers a little bit of time to recuperate, a little bit of time to find their way home, to spend some time with their family, and then get out of there. But this is another fantastic spot for a bass fishing tournament especially May 1st through 4th. The next place they're going is for heavy hitters, and that is on Smith Mountain Lake, May 17th through 22nd. And this is usually, Smith Mountain Lake is usually a spawning in the end of April. And depending on the weather, it could venture into May, but really not towards the end of May. This is gonna be a place where the anglers are going to go early fishing topwater bite. You're gonna have a lot of guys looking for that shad spawn and that kind of stuff and that early morning top water is going to be exceptional. This is another great place to go fishing, especially for heavy hitters, and this will be a really fun tournament for those anglers that make heavy hitters for 2025. Stage six sees the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour go to Kentucky Lake June 5th through 8th, and normally Kentucky Lake is the best time to go fish there is springtime, so I think this will be a post-spawn fishing tournament but i think it's going to be more of that grinded out kind of fishing tournament look for forward facing sonar being the key to anglers finding fish and the winner will probably be a scoper but this is a re another really good tournament for the anglers stage six they're going to the potomac river river you're gonna see a lot of smallmouth bass scoping destination and it should be another great tournament for uh for and a, and a closer tournament too where ounces are gonna play a big factor in who wins and who loses. It will be a deeper fishing tournament, smallies and some large mouth bass, but you're gonna see a lot of small mouse fishing at, at the Potomac River tournament for stage six. And then the last tournament they're doing is Saginaw Bay, August 10th, August 7th through 10th. Again, another small mouth, fantastic destination. This will be another scoping tournament for those guys that like up north fishing and know the spots to go fish. This culminates an absolutely fabulous schedule for the Bass Pro Tour 2025. Now if I have any setbacks, I think they're I think this is first off, I think this is an absolutely ridiculous schedule. I thought this year was really good. I think 2025 is even better. But I think there are going to be a lot of people that don't like that they're going to fisheries that are pre-spawn and I think you have the first two or three that are going to be either pre-spawn or in the spawn and that's going to make a lot of people unhappy but luckily they do every fish counts so those fish are caught weighed and then released at that same spot so they're not brought back in and then we don't have any issues with with fish mortality and I think that's a big problem that is reoccurring through the fans perspective but the Bass Pro Tour hit a home run with the 2025 schedule, and I can't wait. Now we just got to see who makes it. That's the next thing. So what do you think of the schedule for 2025? Did they hit a home run? What do you like? What do you not like? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate y'all. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.